Hi, my name is Dex and today we're looking at one of the key differences between SQL accounting and AutoCount. So if you are someone that actually likes to use Excel and want to import transaction into your accounts, this is actually a key difference that will be critical in which software will be more suitable for your operation. So the first one that we'll be looking at is actually AutoCount. Alright, so AutoCount has two ways of actually importing in Excel. Alright, so the first one is under here, File. We have one called import from excel and then here let's say today we want to import cash work so we come here to gl cash work all we need to do is you need to open up your excel select the fields that you require you just copy and then come in here and we'll just paste on clipboard all right so to make sure that everything's fine you just make sure the currency tax rate is one press import successful all right in things like sales invoice or purchase invoice all right so what we have is actually one called the universal import module the universal import module can be obtained from either ourselves or your dealer all right so can by doing that you can just come here to universal import you press say example now we want to import purchase purchase invoice so click here purchase invoice and then we just browse and then we just need to select which is the file let's say example this is the file you press open Straight away the system said this is a new transaction, you just press import. Successful. Alright. Another key difference between uh AutoCount and SQL will be this. Under universal import, let's say I want to import again, purchase, and we want to import the purchase invoice again. Say you made a mistake. We just need to press browse again. We select this file, open. The system will prompt you this and update. So if there's any difference on your Excel, the system will automatically update it for you. Alright, so we just press import done all right okay so this is how we import in from protocol okay now let's look at sql accounting all right we need to first number one need to open your sql accounting we always recommend if you want to do importing always open only one sql accounting at a time because after that if we actually open one earlier than the other the import function will import into the different file all right so let me do this So the next thing that you will need is of course our SQL import module. Okay, the free module that is provided is normally only allowing you to import in hundred line items at a time. Okay, so that's one of the key differences. So let's say today in SQL I want to import in say sales. Okay, so we click sales and we say invoice. Okay, so one of the other things that we realize that is a little bit difficult to use is actually this function where even though we use the excel templates provided by sql the system does not map it correctly so let's say i press sales and purchase i press get data okay so what we always mean is that you need to check example you see now this is target field is text but then it map into a text inclusive so for us for this example we'll take away the text inclusive we do a verification to make sure all the transactions are fine so okay 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 and let's press post to account okay successfully posted okay so then we go back to sql we come to customer we come to invoice then you can actually see the transactions at the bottom here okay this one 2021 okay so after using both of the features, we at MyConsult actually feel that AutoCount Excel import function due to its simplicity to import and also the function to actually update existing transactions makes it a better choice. For SQL accounting, if for example you need to do any updating, you need to delete off the transactions, then only you can import in again. Alright, so that's all for today. We hope that you find this helpful. Do leave a like and subscribe to be notified when we release a new video. Thank you.